So we're in uh, New York at the beginning of October. I have just, uh, this is my first season, I put in this brand new pool. And uh, in the process, I've educated myself. I've done so much research. And my goal was to build a pool that requires as little maintenance as possible. I don't have a lot of time, I work hard, but I uh, took care of the pool myself. I did not uh, have to deal with a uh, pool guy managing the pool. And with very little work, this is what the pool looks like. And this is what it's looked like the entire season. I've had no problems with algae. The water has been crystal clear. So what did I do and what could you do to make your pool look like this? Well, I would break this down into uh, maybe uh, three or four uh, different categories. The first one would be is how do I sanitize or keep the pool clean and uh, safe for bathers? So the first thing I did was I added borates to the pool. Uh, there are different types of borates, but I used boric acid. Boric acid has the advantage of it does not raise the pH in any significant way, so you don't have to add acid to counterbalance it. Why boric acid? Boric acid has the benefit of acting like an algistat. It doesn't kill algae, but it prevents algae from growing. If you have boric acid in your pool, it's basically a one and done for the season, unless you have a uh, splash out or you backwash your filter system and lose water. It's possible you might have to add a little more during the season. But I took a 55 pound bag of boric acid. How, why 55 pounds? you need to know the volume of your pool. That's one of the most important things to do initially if you're gonna maintain your own pool. So in my pool, we wanted to get, or your pool also, you wanna get that level to about 50 parts per million. So when you do the calculation, and there are many apps that allow you to do this very easily, when you do that calculation, it came out to 55 pounds for this pool. I basically just dumped the bag in and it dissolved immediately in the pool. So. That's number one. By having boric acid in your pool, right away that decreases the amount of chlorine you need to maintain that pool. If you generate your chlorine with a chlorine generator uh, in a saltwater pool, you can turn that chlorine generator down uh, and that will uh, increase the longevity. The second thing I did was I added something called Pool RX to the uh, pump basket. Pool RX is a mineral system which also prevents algae and decreases your need for chlorine. And the third thing uh, I did was I added uh, a clear comfort uh, advanced oxidation system to the pool. And I'm gonna show you that in just a few moments, but basically uh, this injects free radicals into the pool um, that basically kill everything. It acts as a wonderful sanitizer that also decreases your need uh, for chlorine. I decided against putting a chlorine generator in the pool. I do not want salt water in the pool. Salt water corrodes over time. It'll eat at your concrete, it eats at some of your equipment, and it decreases longevity. Uh, so I wanted to keep this pool as simple and as clean as possible and to try to avoid things like corrosion. So um, why don't we go over to the equipment and uh, I'll show you what that looks like. So we planted some bushes in front of the equipment to hide it, uh, but here it is. And again, this has been designed uh, for simplicity. So here we have a variable speed pump, a 2.7 uh, horsepower variable speed pump. Uh, pretty much by law now, it's the way you need to go. But this uh, Jandy pump is wonderful, it's quiet. Uh, and uh, if you look in the pool basket, or the pump basket, you could see uh, the Pool RX device is sitting in the bottom there, and I'll show you what that looks like shortly. Um, so I decided to go with a cartridge filter. There are two other choices. You can go with a DE filter or a sand filter. Why the cartridge filter? I think it's the easiest to maintain. There's no backwashing. I got the biggest cartridge filter you can get. This is a 580 square foot uh, Jandy filter it's wonderful it has four filter cartridges in it and uh, I have not had to change or look at this filter the entire six month season 
if you look at the uh, pressure gauge on the filter, it's reading just over 10. It was reading that at the beginning of the season. There's another little trick that I use to keep this filter actually pretty clean so it's not doing the bulk of the uh, filtration work. And that has to do with the uh, skimmers. I put little hair nets in there and I'll show you how that works in just a minute. The other thing we talked about just before as far as sanitation or preventing algae is the Pool RX system. If you look in the basket of the pump floating on the bottom, or it's actually not floating, it sinks, is this mineral cartilage, this Pool RX mineral cartilage. It's a fantastic device. You put it in at the beginning of the season, it lasts for a good six months, and this will prevent algae from growing in your pool. It has kept my water crystal clear along with the other things that I've done. Um, as we look in the back, you can see this uh, device here. This is the clear comfort system. This is an advanced oxidation system. It basically generates, it takes oxygen and divides it into atomic oxygen, which it injects into the pipe through this little blue tubing into into a manifold right in the front here, which allows you to regulate it. It's a very easy setup, one and done. You set it at the beginning of the season and uh, it works continuously while the pump is on. So with the clear comfort system, the company makes this manifold to make the connection to your uh, existing equipment pad very, very easy. This little U-shaped tube, it allows you to regulate or set the, uh, the level of the airflow. Uh, it took me literally 10 minutes to set this whole thing up. And uh, it runs when the pump is running. And uh, I believe it's done a wonderful job of keeping the uh, pool clean. Uh, it allows me to keep the chlorine level at close to zero. Just know that if you use these different systems that I use, the Pool RX, the clear comfort, the boric acid, does that eliminate your need for chlorine in the pool? It does not, but you need a very, very low level uh, as compared to if you don't have these other things running. Uh, this over here is a calcium, uh, cal hypo uh, chlorinator. This is not the traditional trichlor uh, chlorinator that uses a stabilized tablet with something called cyanuric acid in it. I'll talk about cyanuric acid in a minute, but if you continuously use those types of tablets, the cyanuric acid level will continue to build up in your pool, and there's a point where it actually becomes detrimental. So I've avoided using cyanuric acid tablets, and I've gone with the Calhypo cal tablets instead. I don't even use this chlorinator. I actually just put them in the skimmer. Trichlor tablets you should not put in your skimmer because they tend to be very acidic, which could be damaging to your equipment. Calhypo tablets are not acidic, so you don't have the same issues or concerns. So as far as filtering the pool, which keeps it clean, um, the filtration system, as I said, is the, uh, the Jandy 580 square foot filter. But I have three skimmers on each of my skimmers. If you take the basket out, and I had just put a Cal Hypo tablet in there. But if you look, I put these hair nets in. You know, you see people in cafeterias wearing them. Uh, I also, I took a stone. The stone is bigger than the plumbing at the bottom of the skimmer. So for some reason this basket cracks, that stone is not gonna get sucked into the pipes. But this weighs down the pump bas uh, the uh, skimmer basket when the pump's not running. Otherwise, they tend to float upward. But with this rock in there, it stays in place. And these skimmer socks are basically acting as the first line of filtration. And it's keeping all the fine particulate debris. Uh, during the early part of the season, it was amazing. The entire sock was filled with pollen. It doesn't even seem like pollen gets through there. But that is keeping that filter relatively clean and decreasing my need to clean the cartridges. So I have one of those socks in each basket. How often do I change those? Well, I take a look at them. If they look dirty, I, I clean them. I tend to do it at least uh, once every week or two, but they have been working beautifully. 
So if you look at the uh, pool, the uh, first of the returns, you see the bubbling. This is uh, from the clear comfort system, the air bubbles. One of the advantages of clear comfort system is it does not generate ozone. If you do use a system that generates ozone, they're very often expensive bulbs that need to be replaced. Same with UV systems. Uh, those bulbs could be almost $1,000 or more. The clear comfort device has no such uh, maintenance involved. It's a simple cartridge you change every 12 months. Um, the, uh, the system basically requires absolutely no work at all and just does its work and keeps this pool just crystal clear. So if you have uh, a pool guy coming to the house, one of the things they spend a lot of their time doing is vacuuming your pool. I never need to vacuum my pool. One of the best things I purchased is this robot. This is a dolphin robot. I basically just throw it in the pool. You plug it in. It's got its own filters built in. It uh, takes about two hours. It goes around the whole pool. It cleans everything. It's been wonderful. It eliminates all the work of vacuuming a pool. Uh, I cannot recommend this more highly. It is a fantastic little device. So these are the chemicals that I use in my pool. Uh, this is the Cal Hypo. It's made by Pool Life. Uh, it's a slow dissolving Cal Hypo. It comes in these tablets. Now these are non-stabilized, meaning they do not have any cyanuric acid in the tablet. If you compare this to the traditional trichlor tablets, those have significant amounts of cyanuric acid. Those tablets tend to be acidic, these are not. Uh, these do not add any of the cyanuric acid, also known as stabilizer, to the pool, which will slowly build up over time and can theoretically create problems. What is cyanuric acid or stabilizer anyway? The best way to think of it is like a sunscreen for chlorine. Sun breaks down your chlorine. So if you have a certain level of cyanuric acid, it'll help increase the duration of the chlorine effect. So this is the tablet that I use. They make them for the skimmer or for the chlorinator. The special, it requires a special chlorinator. You cannot put these in a trichlor chlorinator. So this is what I've gone with in this pool to keep it this clean. And this so is this is a 23,000 gallon pool and I've had to use one of these tablets once a week to keep the sanitizer level at the low level that I want it at. Now, I, again, these do not contain stabilizer, but you do want some stabilizer in your pool to help increase the duration. So I just added at the beginning of the season, I measured the, again, I have 23,000 gallon pool. And for me to get it to about 30, 40 parts per million, it required dumping one of these bags into the pool at the beginning of the season. One and done. Uh, as far as chlorine, sometimes I do supplement chlorine if I've had a lot of people, and I tend to just use liquid chlorine. Um, if there are a lot of people in the pool, maybe I'll dump a quarter of this uh, gallon container. This is a 12 and a half percent liquid chlorine um, product. And so the, the main chemical I've had to add to the pool over the course of the season is acid. The Cal Hypo tends to uh, make the acid level, the pH level creep up slightly. So it's not a big deal, but about every two weeks or so, I have to add about 16 ounces. And I use this acid magic. Uh, product which works beautifully again in these apps it tells you exactly how much to add very very uncomplicated so all in all this has been just a totally uh, a pleasure to take care of this pool it's required no work on my part whether you take care of your pool yourself or you have a service one of the most important things to do is maintain the chemistry in your pool uh, it's a huge investment of pool and if you don't monitor or adjust your chemistry when needed you're eventually going to have problems uh, this device is called Sutro. It's a robot that automatically monitors the most important chemistry parameters in the pool. In addition to giving you your water temperature, it monitors your pH, uh, your alkalinity, your free chlorine levels, and it gives you uh, three readings a day, uh, which it sends wirelessly to a hub that then sends all the information to the Sutro app on your cell phone. It could not be easier. Uh, it's about uh, the size of a wine bottle, uh, it samples the pool water by design about a foot below the surface, which is important because samples taken from the surface are not truly representative of the true chemistry levels in your pool. Uh, and you simply place it in the pool and forget it. 
Uh, inside the unit is a cartridge that contains test tubes with Lamont reagents, which is known to be one of the uh, most accurate ways of taking measurements for a pool. I used to use test strips before, which I found to be very inaccurate. Uh, the Lamont reagents contained in the Sutro, on the contrary, are very reliable, and I feel confident that the pool is being maintained properly. One of the nice things about the Sutro is it has a library of pretty much all the chemicals you would ever need to use in the pool. Um, and uh, in the app, you simply scan a barcode on the individual product you like to use, and it will register that chemical. And when it comes uh, time that you may need to use it, the app will tell you exactly uh, how much you need to add. When you initially set up the uh, Sutro app, You'll need to know the, uh, you know, you want to know the exact volume of water in your pool. Um, the app will also ask uh, for so, uh, some questions to determine the uh, individual chlorine demand in your pool. Uh, I happen to have three systems working each in their own right to lower my chlorine demand. I have boric acid in the pool at uh, 50 parts per million. I have a pool RX cartridge in the uh, pump basket and I have a clear comfort AOP system. Um, so when you initially set up your uh, Sutro app, it'll ask you if you have a mineral system such as the frog or a UV system. Uh, I still don't see any options for boric acid or an AOP, AOP system, but I would expect uh, they'll add these in the future. Anyway, but when you uh, check off uh, those things in your Sutro app, it will account for my deep chlorine demand modify my chlorine uh, uh, notification appropriately in the app. So you get three readings a day uh, from this device, which is nice. Uh, it might be a little overkill, but it's definitely far superior to a pool guy that measures your levels once a week. And trust me, there are uh, plenty of times when your chemicals fluctuate and need adjustment uh, during the week. Um, taking care of the unit is very easily easy. You simply uh, swap out the battery and change a chemical cartridge that is sent to you each month that your pool's in operation. During the uh, winter months when your pool might be closed, the uh, subscription is simply placed on hold. And you set that subscription up with the company. Uh, the app will send you notifications that the cartridge is running low and that the replacement is on the way. It could not be more simple. Uh, I have to say that I am so impressed by the design and technology that went into this device. Uh, the techno technical support that backs it is also uh, incredible. Um, so uh, if you want to feel comfortable that your pool is being accurately monitored uh, with very little work on your part, there is nothing on the market t today that compares to the Sutro. For more details on setting up the Sutro and how to perform a battery and cartridge change, look for the uh, detailed video link attached below. Having an auto cover is one of the most useful things for the pool. It has so many advantages. It keeps all the leaves, debris uh, out of the pool. It uh, helps maintain the temperature of the pool. It keeps it warm. It also helps preserve or keeps the chemical levels stable within the pool. It has so many wonderful advantages. The disadvantages of having a cover are it is an expensive item. Um, it does, uh, it collects water during the rain which requires uh, pumping. So I have a pump with an auto switch that I leave on the cover and it automatically takes care of that. Um, and finally uh, these things, uh, you know, if they break they can be expensive repairs. But the advantages so far of this cover have far far outweighed any negatives and it's just so easy to use so all in all I mean if I look at this first pool season it's been a total pleasure I've had very little that I've had to do as far as maintenance and uh, I think uh, the strategy I discussed today I believe would work on most pools <laughs>